doing everyone? Kevin back here with another video. Uh, today we're going to be working on a hitch uh, for a three-point hitch on the back of a tractor. Uh, we're going to need this for the new homestead and it's going to give us uh, a way to pull our trailers, our bush hog, our small bush hog, and our small trailers around on the homestead. So. Uh, we're going to build the hitch instead of buy one. I don't know how much they cost, but I need one with uh, sort of like a, uh, a receiver in the back of it so I can put different types of attachments in there. So let me show you what I'm working with, and then uh, we'll get to putting this thing together. All right, this is what we're working with here. Uh, I know this is a smaller hitch, but we can always get the adapter to fit in this thing, but this is the only one I got that I have at this time. Um... We're going to chop this thing up so it fits right inside of a three-point hitch on the back of a tractor. Then you'll, uh, the, this is one of the small receivers and then you'll be able to put, I'll be able to put this on the back of there and we'll be able to hook our trailer on here to haul around on the homestead. So this is what we got to work with. This is old stuff here but it's going to be good stuff when we get done with it. Okay, so what I've done here is I marked this out, the center, and I want to cut this 24 inches long. I want to keep this about 24 inches long. That way it'll fit between our arms. So we're going to go ahead and get this cut off and this piece here cut off, and then we'll see what we have after that. are over there cutting off in the machine we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut a couple pieces of this quarter inch steel about five and a quarter inches because we're gonna have to mount these guys in here and weld this onto the side of that hitch so we'll go ahead and get these two of them cut five and a quarter inches Okay, I got the ball off the hitch. I'm gonna go over there and get this all cleaned up with a wire brush. So you guys notice we're using old, all recycled stuff to build this with pretty much besides this guy here, these two. So we're gonna get this cleaned up on the wire brush. We got this piece cut off now. Uh, went up in the barn and found me another big heavy piece of square stock. And I want to cut this down to about 12 inches. We're going to have to weld it on here. And then we'll put some tabs on the top of it so we can put our the third part of our three point hitch. The top pin will go in up there. So I think when we start putting this together I think it will all come together and you guys will know what I'm doing here. So we only need about two inches of or uh, 12 inches of this so we're gonna go ahead and get it marked off and we'll cut it all right well, all I'm gonna do now is I need to get a hole that size in these two plates so we're gonna go ahead and start drilling with a smaller bit until we get it big enough a big enough bit for that to fit through Okay, we got uh, this piece which is going to be welded on the top of here. We got it cut off at 12 inches. I'm going to take it over there since it looks so nasty and we're going to run it over the wire brush to clean everything up. Try to get everything cleaned up. We only need two more little ears on the top here and we'll be cutting them here real shortly. Alright, we're going to need a hook to weld onto this thing so we'll be able to hook a chain on there and lift logs off the ground. and. Uh, just going to be a nice little attachment, a hook on here. 
So I just got one off of an old chain. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one up because I don't have one. They actually make these for this, but I don't have one. So we're just gonna cut this one up and put it on here. All right, Brandon come out. He said he'd give me a hand welding this thing and he's a lot better welder than I am. So uh, we're gonna get it put together here. This thing is starting to take shape to where you can understand what I'm doing here. Now these guys here will fit in the end of each one of these for your three-point hitch. And then up on top will be for your top part of your hitch. You'll have a chain to hook, uh, or you'll have a hook here to put a chain on to lift a log if you want it. Then we'll also have a hitch coming off the back here with a ball and a pinhole so we can haul a trailer with a say an inch and seven eighths ball and then I'll have a pin because I actually have my brush hog takes a pin so we're going to mount both of them on that way we can use this for multiple things so right now we uh, Brandon did help me wire, uh, weld this thing up so I'm going to go around and cut all, grind all the tips off of it because I don't want anything sharp to where somebody's going to get cut on it. So we got some grinding to do now. All right, this piece is finished. I cut a, a little bit off the top of this because I thought they were too long uh, and we I cut this piece here for the bottom of my hitch this is so I can put the brush hog on it because my brush hog takes a small pin like that and then I'll be able to stick the trailer on here and that's what it'll look like uh, so it's I put a couple little tacks in the back nothing major and then it'll bolt down with the ball I think that'll work out pretty good so I could use you know for multiple different things so we get some paint on these and uh, done we'll be done with it All right, this is what it looks like all finished up. It's good to go now. We can take it and get it mounted on a tractor. Fun little project. I only money I spent was on these uh, two uh, pins right here. This one here and this one here. I think I paid $3.99 a piece for them. Just these pieces here. So that's about the extent. No, wait a minute. I bought a can of paint too. I bought a can of that black Rust-Oleum paint. So between the paint and the two pins, uh, we could say 12 bucks, 15 bucks the most. And we got us a hitch for the back of the tractor. So all we got left now is to try it out and see how it fits on there. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to let you guys know. You've seen the hole on the top, and if you're worried about water, this tractor should not set outside. But just in case, I drilled a small little hole right there, as you can see. Just in case water gets in here and it would happen to freeze if it would be outside. But more than likely, this tractor won't be outside.
think we could have shortened this this a little bit more I think it's gonna need shortened just a little bit more because it looks like it's kind of tilting down when you look at it from the side and I don't know that I can get one of these shorter that's what it looks like. It looks like to me it could use a little shorter. I don't know. Maybe I can pull this in. We know that side there is as short as it'll go. Yeah, that's about as short as it's all going to go. Yep. So you might have to either get a shorter arm for on the top. This piece here might have to be shorter to get it to tilt up because when we put it down, let me see what happens if we put it down. No, it kind of levels out when it's down. It levels out a lot better when it's down. But it could go a little bit shorter, I think just a little bit it's not setting bad there but if we have to we could probably drill this up a little bit closer to this piece here maybe drill two more holes and get it a little bit closer I think I can gain an inch or so at least an inch in there that will bring it up a little bit more I could actually take the ball off of this and flip it over too that may help out too I could put it on this way and put the hitch or the ball on this, which that might even work out a lot better. All right, we got the ball turned around now. We got it on the upper side now. I think that's going to work out much better, not too close to the ground. We can either pull the trailer with that or the bush hog, because my bush hog takes a pin, trailer takes a ball. Then we'll have the hook up here for when we want to to chain a log to it or whatever and pull it out of the woods so don't forget you guys out there that are uh, new to the channel uh, we did start another channel the rusty rooster homestead I'll leave a link at the top of the page so you guys can go over and check out the new homestead and that's where this tool will be used at so I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like till next time